Okay, so I'm back for part two of the order packing from the Autumn Relief. I'm excited that you came back. This order, I just need my nine by six by three box. I have so many people that just follow along for the order packing. That's just fun for them, but don't necessarily watch the soap making. So it's fun that you do that. So this one has a cool cumber. Wow. Cool cucumber. Smells so good. And a spiked cider. This is the one that made with um, apple cider and Kentucky bourbon whiskey. We have a coffee bean ice cream scrub and a pumpkin pie scrub. Let's see how. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this is all going to go. Hmm. I have a bath. I didn't mean to throw it in there. I have a bath bomb that needs to go in here. So I just want to make sure that I have enough space for it. I think I'm just going to set these wax melts up on their side, kind of right there. And it looks like I need to go get some more wrapping for this bath bomb. So I'm wondering how is fall treating everybody so far? I mean, we're not in fall quite yet but we've been in the very fall moodiness it's kind of hard to get in the fall mood in missouri this early um has been 90 degrees for weeks it's kind of late we had a hot summer but august wasn't too bad and now the 90s are just out in full force for this time of year and so gosh it's been so hot hot and humid so we're not really very fall-like around here quite yet. Usually in Missouri, what happens is it'll be hot, 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 and then, oh, hey, it's fall. So it'll just be 80s and then 60s. That's just kind of how it goes. We don't get too many delightful days in the 70s. So let's put in, what else do we have going on? I have a spiked cider. Let's do a spiced apple cider. See, I was silly. So, so silly. I named things just too similar. I wasn't really thinking about it. So I have spiked cider fragrance soap. I have spiced apple cider essential oil soap. I have pumpkin coffee fragrance soap and pumpkin coffee unscented soap. I didn't think that one through. Did not think it through at all. I kind of worked with everything separate. And then I was like, when the order started coming in, I was like, well, that doesn't make much sense at all. That's confusing. Let's see what we have room for over here. I feel like we got room for something right here. Hmm. Maybe we'll, we'll make a sunflower hang out in there. Let's go. Hmm. That'll work. That'll do. And then we need the treat bag again. So, if you're just joining us in part two and completely confused about some of what's going on, you can go to part one and just feel free to skip through it if you want. But you can see what's in the treat bag, etc. I don't think I even mentioned what the bath bomb was. It was a banana taffy bath bomb. I don't know. I guess I'll know if I mentioned it when I go to edit the video. So with these videos, they're just kind of long and chatty. Not the most organized. And I make them for the people that really enjoy these videos. And so if it's not your cup of tea, it's totally cool. You're feel, feel free to click away. But I make these videos specifically for the people that love them this way. Get out my, my mallet. This is so cute. This one's gonna go in the padded mailer. I've already been packing orders all week, so the majority of the really big orders 
usually they come in at first. They're pretty much gone already. I do tape everybody down and get them all tucked in. I just like a nice clean package like that. I need another regional A for this next order. When I take my tissue paper for these ones, I fold it in half first and that fits just right in this box like so. Then I take my other piece of tissue paper and I fold it in thirds. And then it goes just so right here. So this one is an all wax order and is going to one of my most, well, one of my most loyal customers really in Texas. And she has been quite the delight through the years and I'm so thankful for the people that stick with me and come back for more. So this was Figgy Cream. Now I have a new one, The Ridge. I just made some of these for my friend and poured some extra so they're just white, but I decided to go ahead and list them. It's um, a mix, a coniferous scent blend of forest pine, blue spruce, cedar wood, and oak. And it reminded me of Breckenridge. That's why I called it The Ridge when we were out there last um, October. And then this one is twinkle season and I can't even tell you how much I love this scent oh it's so good it is so good a crisp holiday festive blend of candy apple cranberries pineapple orange zest and spices with a twist of spruce sugar plum and musk I have mixed winter candy apple with another holiday fragrance and whoa like I just poured some for me and then I came back and poured some because I thought you know what everyone is gonna want in on this it is so good so we have some more gardenia this customer typically prefers more fresh and floral fragrances instead of sweet bakery so I'm gonna put that in there and let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's put the blue jeans. This one was, I will probably remake it in the clamshells. It was patchouli, vanilla sugar, jasmine, and soft musk. Whoa. Just so good. So, so good. So, we're going to do that. And then we still have a couple more. Like so. I clearance these because they've been around for so long. I made so many of them because I was obsessed at the time with both of those fragrances, Gardenia and the Blue Jean, so I made so many. And I got really excited about that floral mold also, so I ended up, I just ended up making a lot. Now, all I really have are sweet fragrances and I'm not sure that's exactly what she's going to want. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one that I know she loves. So what I'm going to do for this one, I'm going to pull, I hope this is focusing. Hello, are you focused? I can't tell. I'm going to pull a creamy mint candy. It smells so good. It's, it's um, peppermint, spearmint, and vanilla. I know she likes that one. So. That's going in. We're going to do that today. I just want to send something I know she'll use. And we're going to do the pumpkin spice treat set. And I got to get the invoice ready. And I'll be back. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one all finished up. I have a couple more laid out that I guess I'll continue on with, so stay tuned. I've prepared a nine by six by three. This order has a couple of everything. So we have the coffee bean. And we have the spiced apple cider. I put my essential oil and unscented soaps in the brown boxes. We have a couple of Love's Pure Light. It smells so, so good. I'm trying to remember what it's strong on. The description is floral notes of poppies, jasmine, poinsettias, and snowdrops blend with lime, cassis, sandalwood, and musk. But it smells so good. It's so floral and beautiful. It's one of my favorite florals, and I'm not huge on the florals, but I have been finding some recently that I enjoy. So we have a couple of sunflower wax melts. So in they go. I'm going to fill in these extra spaces just a little bit. So now we have pumpkin coffee sample. Let's do a cider donut. And time to close this one up. It's pretty late it's getting dark outside already. I tried to get these done earlier in the day. I pulled aside some to put in the video. And the day just got away from me. I have not been the most organized with this release. And I've really been struggling. And I've been struggling with downtimes. And internet outages. And Shopify's not been working right. I've been collecting all of the screenshots of all the errors I've had with their website with this release and then I'm going to email them. I have more troubles with Shopify. I really, really do. I'm kind of stuck with I don't really have a better place to go to. I mean, Shopify offers a lot and I'm actually quite happy with it if it just worked. When I was preparing for this release, a lot of my collections weren't visible. And I'm like, well, did Shopify change everything? And then later on, they'd be there. So, I don't know. I know a lot of vendors say they don't have any troubles with Shopify, but I just have consistent troubles. And um, every time I get on support with them, they like try to tell me one thing and I'll be like, are you sure about that? Because you yourself say that you don't do that or it's different. And they're like, oh, yeah. So support's almost pointless. All it usually does is just confirm what I'm thinking in the long run. I'll come back and do one more. All right, so this last one's a little bit different. It's just a little bit too big to go in my nine by six by three. And I would normally just bump to a regional A that typically works across the country for me for very reasonable rates. It does vary, but very reasonable. However, this one's going to Hawaii. And so the regional rate is almost as much as a medium flat rate. And I really just need to be able to send it for a little less expensive than that. So um, it's still going to be more than what my customer paid. And that's cool. It happens quite a lot. It's actually happened with this release almost fairly consistently, actually. Um, I do have a little bit of a markup on my shipping, and that helps to cover the tape and the shipping labels I have to buy for my Dymo and um, the packaging when I buy boxes and mailers. I have these I don't buy, I'm just saying like my nine by six by threes. I have to pay for the cushioning. All these things play into the whole process. What I've been finding with this release has been is that my little $2 um, per shipment has been quite decreased. Most of them have been costing me right up about what I charged. So 
one thing I wanted to point out, and I'm not sure if I've ever done it before. When we get, when we charge shipping, we charge a set amount. Well, that just comes out of my order profit and a percentage of that comes back out also. So for even the shipping. So Shopify, PayPal, everybody, no matter how I accept payment, somebody's gonna take a percentage out of it from me. So if I charge exact shipping, that it was gonna cost me, guess what? It's actually not exact because they just took a percentage out of that from me. And then I still have to pay the shipping charges. So anyway, we get some discounts by using some certain programs, but then those tend to cost money. I try to use Shopify and free services that give the commercial discounts, and then I get able to pass them on to you as well. But the point is, we just have to be able to cover all our expenses or it does not make any sense to be in business. And I would say that I don't cover my expenses like I should. My soaps retail would be $18 a bar and I sell them typically at nine. It's just due to the ingredients and the cost of shipping on everything has increased this year. I remember when I used to buy stuff and it only cost $12 for me to get some bottles of fragrance or it would cost $40 to get a bunch of oil shipped to me. Now it's like 100 and I'm talking the same amount of supplies often. It'll cost $100 in shipping to get in tissue paper and shred. It costs $100 gosh a lot anyway the point is we pay an awful lot and as vendors all of our shipping and supplies have gone up this year and a lot of times we take that out of our side instead of raising and that just doesn't really make sense because we do need to be able to make a living and stay in business i could not do this even full time i don't think i don't think i could support just even myself if something went awry. I do need my husband's income for us to do this. So this one has an almond. I'm not sure I showed the almond yet. I love this one. It smells so good. We'll have an almond. And I have a pink peony. I have a lot of this floral soap left from, um, from my release earlier in the year and it has become quite apparent that that is not popular among my customer base. So even though they trickle out, they have not sold well. And so I probably won't bring those back again. It's just, it's just the way it is. Or I will make extremely small batches to do so. So I'm going to tuck these all in. So my point is really, Amazon, they have they have a deal with the post office and with everybody. And so they get some better some better rates. And when you ship a ton UPS, you get certain tier breakdowns. And honestly, I'll be telling you, I think the vendors are getting a little bit like my vent, like the people I buy from, I think some of them are getting their breakdown and not passing it on at all. Because some of them, I just want to order a couple bottles of fragrance and they're charging $30 to ship it. Well, I know even I could ship them for less than that. And that's just using my UPS account that I have shipped three, four times with. So I didn't mean to get on a thing about all that. I really did it just off my mind, I guess, all of a sudden. Usually if something's on my mind, it comes out. That's just how, that's how I operate. So I'm going to add in a Stardust sample since they got the um, Moonchild Bubbling Bath Salts. And let's see. Doot, 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 doot. Mostly was all soap in there for the most part. But I'm gonna go ahead and put in a wax melt, the sunflower, because it just smells so good. And I just want everybody to experience it. If you don't have a wax melter, you can usually get one at Walmart. They have some like better homes and gardens ones that are pretty good. I like those, but it does need to either be a plate warmer. Those will get hot really quick and will release the fragrance quicker and stronger, but they may not last as long. 
the bulb ones won't release it quite as quickly but it'll be a more mild release and it won't or it'll last longer is, is the whole point of that now the tea light ones don't really work well at all I don't recommend those so once again when I went to check off the invoice it saved me and the moon child bubbling bath salts were clear over here on the side so they're in there now so we're good to go that's why I check and double check my invoices because you gotta make sure everybody's in there now usually when I'm just packing orders and not yammering I don't miss stuff like this is almost embarrassing that I've missed a couple of things on this um, <laughs> packing order video but such is life it happens but I caught it in enough time so there were no issues so back in with the soap everybody's quite tight in here and the wax melt gonna put in the invoice so I think I'm gonna move on to have dinner it's about completely dark outside it looks like it's about 8 o'clock oh my goodness I really do need to quit I think we're gonna have some barbecue chicken and I'm gonna have some Brussels sprouts I love Brussels sprouts I know a lot of people don't but if it's green and a vegetable I probably really really like it and maybe some sweet potato fries so yeah that's what we're gonna do so I thank you for watching this long video I'm just gonna go get another piece of um, the paper the paper wrap paper wrap that's what we're gonna call it and then I am just going to finish this off and get it shipping label done in this case I, I am going ahead and printing the labels which it's tonight and it's not gonna actually ship till tomorrow and that just happens sometimes it, I find it it works best for me just to clear it out and get it done so here we have the last order I thank you for sticking in there with me and I'm gonna pop a little something in on the screen and I will talk to you guys later